I'd like you to meet Tokwe Ogu and Soji Ogunaike. I'd like first to speak to Tokwe. I'd like you to share a bit of your experience yourself. I started out as an actress. This was about um, uh, 1996. Precisely, I went in to study theatre arts from the Lagos State University. Um, I started to do a lot more plays in school and then I started getting referrals to go out. My lecturers in school would send me out for auditions. You know, there's this lady you should see, she's a good actress, you know, and then I'd go and I'd get the roles. And by and large, while I was still in school, I was able to start working in the industry as an actress in and out and all that. And then afterwards, I finished from school. I got married, I started having children. So, you know, getting pre being pregnant and all that, I, it got me thinking, what else can I do? What, what else can I do about knowing more about this business? While, you know, going about with my big tummy and not having anything to do. I picked up some books, you know, on, on directing and filmmaking. And then I started, you know, by and large, bit by bit, then I found out that as time went on, I started doing more of um, behind the scenes than actually being on, on set. Stage. Because I, I now realize that my passion tended more towards you know, what happened behind. And you know, step by step, step by step, from there I got onto Tinsel, got to do Apprentice Africa, got to start shooting my movies and all that. And you know, the, the whole thing is, 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 is for me. Tell me a bit of your own story and then we'll go into opportunities in the technical part. Okay, I studied at the University of Lagos. I studied physics, electronics. If you put your heart to anything, as a matter of fact, there's nothing you cannot learn, especially with Google. And I studied animation. I started doing 3D animation and I began to get jobs while in school. It was my second year. And I began to study how production worked in the real world. And from then, I. You know, I got involved from, from animation, I went to editing, I began to learn the camera. I, that's what has kept me going. I want to learn. And so, as you left school, how did you translate that? So, I left school, um, I was doing a lot of editing, and I was pretty fast. That's what I had. I was a very fast editor. I was one of the editors that really didn't use the mouse, I was using mostly the keyboard. So there was a day I was invited to IBSD, a production company, in Ogudu, Ben. He, he organized a quick test using the high-end system. So I did the test and I wowed them, but I could see their job. That you wowed them? I, I could see their jaws <laughs> literally dropping. And um, immediately I got the job as an editor of Ambo. I mean, that was the first time I could, you know, earn six figures. As Did you hear what he said? Yes. The first time he could earn? Six what was he using? His laptop. How many people own a laptop here? How many of you have earned two figures from your laptop? <laughs> uh, tell me how you got to Ignite and what uh, your experience uh, was and what you're doing now, post-Ignite. Should we start with you, Gafar? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, Ignite, I, I was challenged to pick up a membership form in NIT DAS, Nigeria Institute of Town Planet. Yeah. So after going through that process, it's a process that says two years working experience after your NYC. Yeah. So after I finish my NYC, in my um, experience, just trying to get a job <laughs> because in the industry you have to be an apprentice sort of to those ogas. So after I got that was I was chaired up, I was permitted to use the word ginger okay. to go to the next level. So after that, when the up the process, I'm a member now. I'm going to be certified by in two weeks then I'll be in town plan. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you ma'am. That's great. So at least you got the inspiration. Yes ma'am. And you got fired up. Exactly. Or ginger dog <laughs> to follow your line. Exactly. Which, tell me. Okay, well, um, I got to know about um, Lagos Ignite through a friend. Okay. Uh, it was a referral. I was about to run up my program then. I was in the uh, Mabafenor University. Um, I, I decided to try it out because initially I felt, okay, fine, this experience is just going to be for those who are inside a job. 
I never thought so much about the entrepreneurship aspect of it. So the experience in um, Lagos Ignite was such a very wonderful one. But one that actually made an impact in me was the aspect of the self-awareness. Yeah. Because I'm this gentle, reserved, so exactly kind yeah. of person. And I got to understand that to be an entrepreneur, I have to be the outgoing type. Get to know how to inter interact with people, the interpersonal relationship and all that. So I was able to develop that. So my experience as a creative um, person has really, really been wonderful after the uh, Lagos Ignite experience. So you're more confident. More confident. You know I can work with my shoulder eyes.